October 27th. Um, I tried to do a little earthquake report to see what it was like early this morning. And uh, it's uh, 6.50 here right now. And uh, I guess it's too early for it. But uh, they were wanting to show the earthquakes like in Italy yesterday. We're having them in Alaska all the time. We know that in California. Um, but I know out of the majority of the earthquakes that we have on a daily basis, most of them are here in America. But anyhow, this message is about uh, the false deceptions going on today, okay? Because what I want to tell you is the Word of God, it tells us in the Holy Bible, okay? It clearly tells us all the signs that we should be looking for, okay? Here in the Word of God, in the Bible, okay? There's a lot of false deception on uh, YouTube and other places. A while back, I told you about a dream that I had where people were walking on, uh, like, fruit and stuff like that. And they were, uh, like a wine press. They were walking on it, and it was squishing between their feet. And uh, their legs and feet were stained with the fruit of the earth. And then at the same time as they were walking on it, I heard them saying, Show us signs. Show us signs. Okay? Now we know the Word of God clearly says everything that we're looking for that we will see. Okay? It tells you of earthquakes in various places, famine, wars, rumors of wars, the blood moons, the red rivers, and everything. Dead fish. We've seen everything in here according to the Word of God. It's shown us all these signs to look for. And he said, therefore, watch him. Now you got people on there that are saying they're exposing the Illuminati. And with the same breath, they're sitting there trying to twist the Word of God. Just like Joel Osteen with his book, Live Your Best Life Now. Um, there's a lot of deception out there in the churches and everything. And I feel it's very important to tell you this. The foolish. Why do you think they're called the foolish in the Holy Bible? Because they were seeking signs in other places. And that's why when I see these people walking on the fruits of the earth, uh, like the wine press, it speaks about that in the Bible, the wine press. They were walking on the fruits of the earth and their legs and stuff were stained. And they were saying, show us signs. And they're seeking signs in all these false deceptions. And... Uh, they end up getting their heads cut off, okay? Because they're going to have to die for by their faith because they didn't believe what was written in here. They didn't believe it and they were still seeking signs and other doctrines that were not of the Word of God, okay? And I'm, I don't know how to warn you any more than that, and this is important, okay? I took this photo in 77 when I was 17. We know the Jewish calendar just switched over to... Uh, Five seven seven seven. Okay, we are. This lake is drying up in front of me. The dreams that I've had, that I've shared, they're all true. Um, people that are seeking signs, this false Illuminati deception stuff, man. It's bad news, man. I'm telling you, it's bad news. Stay away from it. By Jesus Christ's blood. By his stripes, he is the way. By his blood, we are covered, okay? And the Father is going to accept us back into the kingdom of heaven. We're getting ready to go, okay? There's a lot of people I've been seeing on YouTube that are sitting there saying, like they're here to give you their visions and dreams and say how the enemy's coming against them and that you need to go get olive oil and anoint your head. And anoint your pets, anoint over your doors and stuff like that. That's all false deception. It's by Jesus Christ's blood, by his stripes. Because they're saying all these things that you must do to save yourself. Where's your faith in Jesus Christ? You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of false deception out there right now. And these people are not playing. They're out to take you to hell. They're out to deceive you the hardest way possible. You, Your faith has to be in Jesus Christ. Remember when in the Bible it says, Well, Lord, where are you going? How, we don't know where you're going. And he goes, I'm the way. I am the way. Okay? And all these other people are telling you what you need to do to be saved and stuff like that. 
It's Jesus Christ is the only way that you're going to be saved. It's by his stripes. Okay? He took our sins. It's by his blood that he redeemed us back to the Father. When I had a dream where he kissed me on my forehead like I was a newborn baby, I seen blood around his lips. Okay? That's the Son of Christ, His blood. By His blood, we are redeemed back to the Father, and He loves us as His children. Don't let anybody deceive you. There's a lot of demonic spirits out there. I've got people coming against me hardcore right now because of everything I'm trying to tell you. Only by Jesus Christ is, are you going to be redeemed. When you're seeking all these signs through all these different people that are that say they're exposing the Illuminati, they're not. They're not exposing nothing, man. Why do you want to pay attention to false doctrine when we have the Word of God that's already told us everything we need to know in the written Word of God? Seek it out. Look inside here. It'll tell you in the Bible. Look in the back of the dictionary. It'll warn you about seeking false signs. These are all in the Word of God. And your churches aren't even teaching people this today. Everything you need to know is right here in the Word of God. Don't let these people deceive you further. They're out to uh, destroy you. I'm telling you. When I'm saying these demonic spirits that are hosting people, these things are literally inside other people. These spirits, they're hosting them just like that. I know what I'm talking about. They're hosting them just like that. Okay? They are. These are demonic spirits. They're evil. They're little devils. They're devils. They follow the Satan. <coughs> the Lord put this angel above my head. And if you notice at the end of the trumpet, there's a white horse and a bathtub. There's a little clock beside that white horse saying time is up, okay? We're getting ready to go, man. I don't know how much time you have, but you got to repent. Don't follow these Illuminati deception things. They're all of the devil. I promise you they are. Don't be deceived. Now you know you can read in this book and how he said all the signs that you would see. We've seen all the blood moons. We've seen the dead fish floating up. Now you don't hear these Illuminati deceptions talking about that, do you? Uh-uh. They're not going to talk about what's written in here. The only thing they're going to do is try to twist what's written in here. Okay? That's what they're doing. They're getting your minds captivated on all these things that they're showing what they did to destroy the faith in God, in, in this nation. This is the time that we have to be bold. Stand up. I'm going to put a link to Ken Peters in 2000 when he was warning about all these things that are happening right now, what I'm telling you about. How the church, the people need to stand up. We need to pray to God for other people to overcome this great deception that's happening right now. <coughs> <coughs> Don't be deceived, okay? I'm begging you guys, please. <clears throat> There's a lot of deception going on right now. And they're after souls. They're not playing around either, man. They're not playing around. Everything you need to know, Jesus Christ said, all the signs in the Bible, what to look for. He also warned about false doctrines and all that stuff that's out there. And these people, they're not exposing Illuminati deception. They're deceiving you. That's all they're doing. They're not teaching you what's written in the Word of God. They're trying to take what's written in there and then twisting it and making you think that it means something else. And only by Jesus Christ's blood and His stripes, okay, what He did, are we redeemed back to the Father. And I'm telling you, let go of all this other false deception stuff. He said he'd pour out dreams and visions to the young children and old men and stuff like that. But there's also people out there that are deceiving you. See, some of these people saying they're having dreams and visions, and then they're telling you to go out and get oil and anoint your head and anoint your doors and anoint your pets. Those are all, all false deceptions. If anything, they'd be telling you that by Jesus Christ's blood, okay, Stay to the Word of God. 
Okay, it's easy to sit there and say that you had a dream and a vision and then twist things and tell people to do something that's not even written in the Bible. Wouldn't it say in the Bible to anoint your heads with uh, whatever? But it don't. It says by Jesus Christ's blood and by his stripes we are redeemed and saved. Please study on that. I'm asking you just to study on that and focus on Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm fixing to go up to Hardy's and get me some breakfast right now. I, I was up all for early this morning, 2 o'clock this morning, texting people. A lot of you guys probably seen me doing all this stuff this morning. I mean, it's like, I feel like time is so short, you know. I'm looking at this lake where it's all drying up, turning the mud in front of me. You know, I mean, time's running out here, you know. There's a state ban where all this water is sucking up, going someplace. Who knows? It's drying up. There's somebody talking about how we could have some solar heat that's going to turn, cut our communications and even uh, the internet. You know, if you look at Ken Peters, the the video I'm going to load up now is is like in uh, 2000 when he did a video in 2000 where he said he lost his church rights or whatever because of the message he's trying to warn people see the churches have been hijacked already okay they're in high places they're everywhere the homosexual agenda man they're coming against the christianity uh these are demonic spirits that are hosting these people and uh they're everywhere you know the biggest mistake you ever did was letting those people come out of the closet we should have been rebuking them and rebuking them but we didn't that's beside the point what we need to do now is know that by Jesus Christ's blood and by his stripes, you are redeemed to the Father. You need to be getting ready for this. The reason why I didn't receive my message until 2014, you're going to hear Ken Peters, uh, his 2,000 videos, telling people what they should have been doing, warning people to get ready, okay? He was a messenger in the earlier times. Now, I am a messenger, telling you the great deception that's at hand, you know, not to be foolish, not to follow these people, okay, because it's, it's been escalating, escalating, the Lord wants to save as many people as possible, he doesn't want to see anybody foolish or left behind, but you have to believe in Jesus Christ and by his blood that you are saved, it's your faith. You remember the lady that said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment? Her faith was in him, not in what these other people were saying, not in all this false stuff, not in those Pharisees. It was in him, in Jesus Christ. And therefore, your faith has to be in him as well, not in these false Illuminati deceptions and what they're saying to expose them while they're twisting the word of God with the same breath. Okay, I got a lot of people coming against me now because they don't like my message. They know I'm telling you the truth. Okay, trust me. And I got people out there saying, what am I doing about money? How am I surviving? Well, the Lord provides. I don't have a bank account and I'm not getting one. And I'm not setting up no PayPal account either. People have helped me through this. We're at the very end right now. I sold everything I had to go as far as I could go. Now the Lord has helped and provided me this far, right here to this tent that I'm sleeping in. You know, somebody called and uh, sent me enough money to buy that tent right at the very end. You know, I mean, these, these are not coincidences. Look at that. Look at the cost of that tent. $337.77. Then look at how many items right down here. Seven items. Okay, these are all signs from the Father. Jesus Christ was 33 years old when he was crucified. When I went out and ate, I was sharing with somebody. And then the receipt, the money we got back was $7.77. Okay? These aren't coincidences. <clears throat> I'm a true messenger. You know? These photos that I keep showing everybody with the angel blowing the trumpet. That bathtub. Now, you notice how simple this is? The white horse and the bathtub and a clock. Okay? And it's at that trumpet. It's all about when you hear these trumpets being sounded, who's coming? 
Jesus Christ. And he's going to be on a white horse. What's the bathtub for? By his blood are we redeemed back to the Father by his stripes. See, it's a simple message. You listen to this Illuminati garbage, that's all false doctrines. That's all doctrines of the devil. <clears throat> Why do you want to watch doctrines of the devil? And look at how they got tens of thousands of people flocking to their channels. Tens of thousands. And I've seen people walking on the fruit. All I seen was their feet and their legs were stained with the fruit. And, they were, and I heard the voices going, show us signs. What are these people doing? They're looking for signs in all the wrong places. All the wrong places. I'm going to provide a link with Ken Peters, okay? With what he said in 2000 about how to stay with this. Not to be deceived. He was saying how we need to be bold. We need to start praying. We need to start picking up. And it's all about Jesus Christ, okay? We need to stop following this uh, evil demonic stuff. Why, we got all these perverted people that are in all the high places now. People put help their kids get all these high jobs now, and now they got the power ruling things, and, you know, it's over. That's why I'm here. I'm here to give you guys the heads up now. Because I'm telling you, what I've seen people saying, show us signs, show us signs, they got their heads cut off. That's what happened. The signs are right here. The Bible told you what to look for. What do you think all these earthquakes are? In divers places. Famine. Look at in Venezuela. People were eating uh, their dogs and their cats. They were fighting over a little bag of flour. And then they ate all their animals out of the zoo. Nobody even knows that for some reason. And that rock, when this, when this whole thing started, Jesus Christ's ministry was out. You know where his ministry started. That's where people started getting their heads cut off. Okay? Now, if you throw a rock in a pond, the impact is right there where his ministry started. Then there's a ripple effect, ain't there? You notice how it's spreading out across the world? This is serious, and this has happened. A lot of these people, are you serious? Are you serious? Then they want to talk about Russia, China, and all this other stuff. Man, it's all about Jesus Christ, man. You ain't got to worry about that because the Word of God says, I'll turn your enemies against you to destroy you. He says this nation's going to burn by fire. Because all the little, that dream I had, those little horns... Man, this place is littered with perverted evilness here. These people are lovers of money than, than they are the Word of God. Live Your Best Life by Joel Osteen. He sold millions and millions and millions of copies of that. 40, 50 million copies of that book. Live Your Best Life Now. What does that tell you? I hope you guys can see this is the truth. Please do not be seeking signs that are not of sound doctrine out of our Holy Bible, okay? These people that are telling you to anoint your heads and anoint your doorways, that's all false. Where's your faith in Jesus Christ and what he did? That's the only thing that's going to get us out of here. That's why he did what he did. He's known from day one that we wouldn't get past this. He's known whose name's in the book of life from the beginning, and that's why he's got me doing what I'm doing. I'm going to put a link in the description box of the guy, uh, Ken Peters. He had a, I ain't putting up the one from 1980 where he said people just disappeared and there was a big panic. I'm going to put up the one from, he did a video in 2000 on the Prophecy Club where he was speaking about uh, what people needed to do before we got to where we are now. This is like 16 years ago. He was telling people, boy, he was serious too. He was telling everybody, you got to get out there and do this, do that. Okay? I didn't get woken up until recently. Actually, is when the uh, Twin Towers were knocked down. And uh, then every year, I kept getting more and more awake. You know, but the Lord, man, the Lord's constantly trying to put people out there to try to get people going. And that's what I've been doing. You know, and look, I dropped everything, man. This is how important it is. You know, and I'm seeing all kinds of weird comments on my thing where people are coming against me, talking about trying to, you know, hooking me up, getting money. Let me tell you something. The Lord's helped me. Look at this thing here. This thing helps me to get videos out. Somebody just sent this to me. I wouldn't be able to do this. But you see, this is how the Holy Spirit works. It works through people. 
yeah, I'm still living out here in the wilderness, but this is where I'm supposed to be. Look at the price of that tent. Everything happens exactly according to the will of God. Everything is happening. I promise you it is. And you know deep down in your heart, seeking these signs from all these other people, these false Illuminati deceptions. Um, what's his name? I don't even know what his name is, but uh, there's a lot of them out there. Don't do it. Right here is everything you need. He said there'd be signs in the heavens, signs in the earth. And we've seen it all. The signs in the earth, that's the earthquakes in divers places and stuff. And now they've escalated off the chart. I mean, you can do an earthquake report every day and see how many there are. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Stay to the word of God. Trust him, okay? Trust Jesus Christ. Trust what he did on the cross. Have all your faith in him. Don't believe these people no further. Actually stop watching them. Everything you need to know is right there in the Word of God. We can comfort one another here on this channel with the Word of God. We don't need to try to add further deception. When people come in here, and if it's not of sound doctrine, if it's not from Jesus Christ, avoid these people, okay? Titus uh, 3 tells you, uh, chap chapter 3, uh, verse 10, it tells you to avoid these people. And then it refers you to go to Romans uh 16, verse 17. Avoid all these false doctrines. If it's not from the Word of God, to avoid them, to stay away from them. And look at people, look at how many people are flocking to them. Tens of thousands. Okay? And then Now you know why he says foolish. Because they were foolish. Everything you need to know, man. You look at what's written in that Word of God right there, and you tell me you haven't seen everything exactly the truth as it's written. And then you look at what these other people are doing, that, that false deception. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're doing. Nothing they're saying is, 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 is nearly close to what the Lord has told us. All they're doing is further deceiving you with more lies and deception. That's what the devil does. Stay with the Word of God, Jesus Christ. You know, let's comfort one another like we have been doing on here. Okay? And know those by the by the fruits, by what comes out of their mouths. You know, if they're lying and deceiving you, you know it. God bless you. I hope and pray that you guys got from the, something from this message. Also, check the uh, description box, okay? Ken Peters. I'm going to have it in there, okay? Please watch it. It's a half hour video. And you're going to see where he's even warning people. And we passed that point now. His video is from the year 2000. Okay, it doesn't say on there, but it was from the year 2000, and here it is 2016, 16 years later. He also did a video in, in 1980 where he had a vision where everybody just disappeared. Okay, and then from 1980, he did one 20 years later in 2000. Okay, and he was, you can see how serious he is about how bad this is and how close it is. I mean, this guy literally pretty much probably did exactly what I did. Walked away from everything and uh, you know, because this is it, man. This is, I mean, what's more important, you know? Every soul we can get, you know, to come to Christ. You know, we don't want to be left behind. We don't want to be among the foolish, okay? Not everybody's going to get this message, but please try to spread this message, okay? God bless you, man. This is so important. It's so important. It is. We don't have much time. A week, two weeks, maybe three. Who knows? You know. But I don't think we're going to be here very much longer. If we're here, uh, and we won't be here, I don't think, in Christmas. I really don't think we will. Those that are going to be here, it's going to be hell on earth. God bless you. Check the description box, please.